Hey, what's happening gamers? It's Amber here with Kimming's Let's Plays. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today, um, we're going to be doing some more Disney Dreamlight Valley. You guessed it. I am going to be doing other games eventually. Um, I just have had a lot on my plate and so it's kind of easier for me to just do the same game every day. But I will, um, I do like doing Disney Dreamlight Valley in the afternoons. So sometimes maybe I'll do different games in the mornings. Uh, so good to see you guys. Hi PJ, hi Paladin Prime, hi William. Hi everyone. Alright, so today, um, so thank you again for the thoughts and prayers for, I put on Twitter, uh, thank you guys for keeping us in your thoughts and prayers about the landlord, um, as far as we know, we passed for now, but they do expect to come back, like, like, randomly, like, weekly or something, so it's probably, uh, that I'll probably have to, like, spend extra time every evening just, like, painstakingly wiping down everything and, um, like, making, basically our house, if, Luke is probably gonna do a house tour and Honestly, this is the cleanest place I've ever, like, it's not just the cleanest place, but I, it's so organized. Like, everything is in a bin. Everything is on its own little shelf. There's nothing coming out. Like, literally, if this is like a model home for me, anyway. I cannot imagine somebody else's apartment looking better than this. Um, and, you know, anyways. Um, so, yeah, I just, um, so hopefully Luke will do a house tour and, uh, yeah, so basically, long story short, our landlord kind of, like, keeps thinking that there's something going on with our pets. We had one pet that was sick a long time ago, and they kind of keep coming back and trying to, like, trying to find something that proves that our pet is creating, like, a problem, um, but, like, the landlord basically said, like, oh, I like, feel like there's something here, but she's like, I can't find anything that your pet did, so, you know, our pets are pretty good, Zelda and Link have been pretty good, and I don't think they've really created any messes anywhere, so, I don't know, I kind of think our, um, yeah, I don't know what's, but I'm, I'm just, I'm just thankful, um, just, basically, I think they just try to find a problem with someone so that they can, like, raise the rent, um, so, uh, or, or not just raise the rent, uh, you know, like kick us out and get somebody else to pay higher rent. So it's very stressful for me, uh, for many, for a number of reasons. Um, like for instance, I don't, like, I, I don't think anyone likes going back to live with their parents or family or friends or anything. But I just don't, like, my dad is very old, he's very, you know, sick, he has cataracts and everything, um, I just, I couldn't possibly, like, my dad doesn't even have internet where he is, so I couldn't really stay with my dad, and I don't have anyone else to really stay with, so it's like, if I'm, you know, if something would happen, it would be really bad, but, you know, they... Uh, you know, I'm just thankful to God that everything is all right for now. So I'll probably have to just be more tired and not be on some of the streams just to make sure my house is like painstakingly. It was already pretty good, like before she called and I, we had to like make sure it was like perfect. And then when we made sure it was perfect, she was like, oh, it's all right. <laughs> Even though it like looks like I put so much work into it. Um, so they're just kind of like finding a reason to, to like evict people because Luke and I have, uh, stayed in nicer places than this, like in Boston and they always said our house looked fantastic and like we didn't even put like a fourth of the work that we're putting into this place. So, but I hope you guys are having a good day and, um, so the, the, as far as I know, like the inspection went all right and, you know, she didn't, you know, kick us out or anything, so that was really good. So I'm very thankful. Thank you, God, for that, and thank you guys for keeping me in your thoughts and prayers again. Um, really appreciate that. 
So I hope you're, you guys and gals are having a nice day. And uh, it was raining earlier where I am, so it makes sense why it's raining in the game. You're probably going to hear Luke like complain a little bit about like the fact that he, he um, like he's probably going to be like smelling chemicals everywhere because there's chemicals like all. I'm actually feeling the chemicals on myself. Like I'm like, Ugh, I could smell them, and it's like I just yeah. Um, so, oh hi, Linky. <laughs> Like he's a good boy. Hi, Lou. Hi, um, uh, Jade Rose. Hi, Victor. Hi, Jacob Langlin. Hi, PJ. Yeah, so one thing that was kind of cute, um, well, I haven't really bonded with Link that much. He's kind of like a very distant cat. Like, if you guys have ever had a new cat that doesn't really want to sit on people's lap and, you know, it's hard to get to know and stuff, well, that's kind of how Link is. He has a difficult time um, getting to know people. Um, so, well, either that or I have a difficult time getting to know him. So, basically... Um, when I was cleaning out everything, I had the door open in the back porch for a minute and I was out there and Link was near the door and I, I slipped out there. I hung up some, uh, actually I hung up because I didn't have time to go to the laundromat. I had to actually hand wash my, uh, um, oh my gosh, tablecloth. I hand washed it like in, like in a little tub with water and like soap and everything and then I hung it out to dry on my porch so when I did that my cat um Link he was sitting there watching me and when I came back he was nowhere to be seen he was completely gone so I was so freaked out like I I was just running all over the house trying to figure out where he was and make sure he was okay and then he came right up to me and um like he just like just I don't know, just showed his little nose and, like, let me pet his head to let me know that he was alright, so that was super cute, so I guess we kind of bonded then, but, um, yeah, usually it's kind of hard to get to know Link because, you know, he's new and he's, you know, he's just, he's just getting to know us, like, it's taking him a long time to get to know us, so, right. so, um, so I'm just going to put some of my flowers here and then we're going to try to talk to Jafar today in this um, episode. So yeah, just heads up. I've just, uh, we have just like literally like, I was up until nine o'clock in the morning cleaning um, with Luke. He was also up till nine o'clock in the morning with me. So we were cleaning all night just to make sure everything was fine. And, um, I didn't take, Luke really wanted me to take, I have to take, like, blood pressure medicine so I could calm down my heart because, um, I get very stressed very easily, and Luke really wanted me to take, I don't really get stressed easily. I had a traumatic thing happen to me in 2018, and ever since then, I, if I get upset, if I get stressed out, then I, my heart rate goes up a lot, so, yeah, um... So, yeah, I just, um, like, he didn't want me to take that medicine, so I took, I didn't take it until, I took it in the morning, so now I've, so I kind of took a double dose, because I was, like, really high heart rate, so, yeah, if I seem, like, super chill today, that's because I, I took a uh, double dose of it. Um, I'm starting to think maybe I should take a double dose of it every day, because I am, I feel very chill right now, <laughs> like, I feel super chill. Uh, so yeah, that's actually, it's a, I mean, it's probably not a good idea for me to depend on that to feel chill, but. Alright, so let's, uh, let's try to. Uh, 
Alright, so we're gonna go talk to Jafar and then, uh, yeah, and then we'll do that. Honestly, looks like I can't really put everything away here. Yeah, at least Link didn't escape. Exactly, Victor. In fact, I was watching the door the whole time. I never saw him go by my legs. I was sitting right outside the door. Like, I was a foot away from the door and hanging up the cloth. But as soon as I turned around, he was gone. So I just freaked out. I just thought... Yeah, I thought he I thought he may have left. Because sometimes cats are very quick. Like, sometimes they can run right by you and you don't even see them run by you. Um, so... I just thought that happened, so I'm so glad that he is alright, actually. Alright, so we're gonna go talk to Jafar and see what is next for him. <laughs> ah, you found the three jewels of time, K-Wing. Uh, it took you long enough. I have been waiting for an eternity. Clever play on words, Jafar. Ah, we have no more time for cleverness. All right. You must remove the time anomaly from the palace and free me from this place. I see you've cleared away the time anomaly. Blocking your path through the desert, you should have no trouble reaching me. Once you reach the palace, simply focus the magic of your hourglass on the wound in time in front of the palace door. Mm. Oh, and do hurry, your reward awaits. Mm -hmm. Your eternal reward. Alright, last time Jafar said that to somebody, he I think he tried to yeet them. Interact with Time and Almanly in front of the door to Jafar's palace. So, looks like we've got our next quest. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to say talk to Jafar. Oh, you're facing one of your fears today, uh, William? Uh, I'm sorry you have a, a light headache. You took a Zytec allergy medicine? Oh, I'm so sorry, PJ. I hope you feel better. Oh. Link was thinking about escaping, says Tim. Well, the thing about, uh, like, cats can be very loyal. Like, they can be like, you know how you can kind of, like, you know, when you're a kid and your parents tell you, like, stay in, stay in the car, don't get out, you can decide, like, am I going to stay in the car or am I going to get out and run around the parking lot? So, cats are similar to kids in a way because they can, you know, you really have to build up, you know, like, you have to build up trust with cats. So, it's basically, like, having a cat is like being a parent. So... You just, um, you just have to build up trust, like, that, like, if your cat, and, and, and it doesn't mean, just because your cat runs away, it doesn't mean your cat, you didn't build up enough trust. It means, some cats have, uh, more zany personalities than other ones. You know what I mean? Like, just some kids like to run off and do whatever they want, and some kids always stay in the car. So, um... You know, there's cats with different personalities. You never quite know what kind of cat you're dealing with. But, yeah, I mean, I think I think the reason why Link didn't leave was because um, he had, he trusted me. Because he knows here, like, if he leaves the house, he could get lost. He could get hurt outside. And he probably wouldn't have a regular supply of food either uh, going on. <laughs> so, uh, you know... It, um, you know, if you build up, and also I think the main reason why, why your cat wouldn't leave the house, if you are looking at them like, don't leave, um, is because when you open the door to get the mail or something, so they don't leave. I think the main reason is because they don't want to, they, they see you as like a parent. They see you as their family, so they don't want to hurt your feelings by leaving. 
because they know that you don't want them to leave. So I think that's the main reason because they're trying to be a good cat. So Link was a very good cat. Um, he didn't rush out the door. I'm very proud of him. Um, he is a very good cat. So he he did a great job of not, not rushing out of the house. So he's become a very, and he was a very good cat for coming when I was calling him. Um, so he came right over there to me and, um, you know, made sure to show me that he was okay. Like he li he put his little head in front of me so I could pet it. So I could, so he could see that, so I could see that he was there. So that was very sweet. So he's, he's become a very good boy. <laughs> Uh-oh, what, what did we just do? Hello. Oh, you made uh, Luke and me as custom characters? Awesome, Leader Gator. Very cool. Oh, thank you, the eyes. I'm sorry I didn't see that. I should have done that before. I should have gotten rid of that. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. At last we meet in the flesh. Uh, you better have a good reward for me, Jafar. Do not worry, your reward awaits. After you carry out one more task for me. What is it, Jafar? There is something hidden deep beneath this island. A relic of untold power. It is called the Spark of Imagination. Um, what is it? I have only read the legends, but it is said to be the first spark of inspiration that drove the creation of this world. Oh, you mean it's the magic behind Dreamlight Valley? And Eternity Isle. Dreamlight magic may very well spring from this one ancient relic. Let me guess. You want to me to get the spark of imagination for you. Very astute, K-Wing. Only someone wielding the hourglass can reach it. I feel the, fear the path is lost to me. After the way you proved yourself in the Cave of Wonders, I have confidence you will manage to find your way without making another fool of yourself. What exactly do you want the spark of imagination for? Why must you ask so many questions? Um, are you going to do something evil with it, Jafar? Oh, uh, if you must know, with the spark of imagination, all of space and time would bend to my desire. Mm -hmm. At last, I could make the world the way I ought to be and have my revenge on Aladdin. Mm. Of course, there will always be a place for you, my humble servant at your side. Ah, uh, let me think about this. There is nothing to think about. If you will not agree to help me, then I shall do it myself. <sighs> Give me the hourglass. It is rightfully mine. Ah. Wait. Did I give him the hourglass? <laughs> Whoopsies. Goodbye. I should have said I'm definitely not helping you. I don't know why I said let me think about it. That was kind of a simp move. Oh, why did I do that? Uh, the door to the palace is barred from the other side. It seems Jafar has retreated inside. Oh. Okay. Oh. And we can't, we can't, we can't get it from that side. We're going to have to unlock uh, that side. So we're going to have to unlock. So basically, I believe we have to unlock this area. I th think. He would have taken it regardless. Okay, thank you, the eyes. That makes me feel a little bit better. Well, that was a fun exchange. Uh... Alright, so 18, Jafar steals the hourglass. 
Yeah, I like how they have movie lines in this. Oh, the area is locked till the next update. Okay, good to know. Uh, thank you. All right, thanks for letting me know the eyes. Appreciate that. Well, Let's see. Uh, good day, dear. Ah, repair in the well means you can quickly travel here from anywhere in the valley. Uh, I don't actually have 10,000 gold. Whoops. Okay, so we could repair that well if we had the money for it. Well, I guess we can talk to Eve. Oh, now we can talk to Merlin, so why don't we do that, I guess. <sighs> Alright, hey, Later Gator. Um, okay, see ya in a bit, Later Gator. Thank you. Thank you for- oh, you made Luke as a Batman character? Awesome. Oh, t yeah, Link likes to fight with Zelda. He does. They're getting a little bit, they're getting on a little bit better. Uh, sometimes he fights with her and sometimes he, sometimes they lie down next to each other and look outside. So, I don't know, maybe they're just fighting like their siblings a little bit, like their brother and sister, because they kind of are brother and sister. They live in the same house. Um. So, yeah. Oh, looks like we got that duty um, done. Cook pretty fancy meals ten times. Oh, we can easily do that. Um, I don't know why it's saying it has like a red thing there for my duties. Because I've already done what I did. Okay, alright, so I guess we'll go talk to Merlin. Let's go find him. He's over here, so I guess I will just walk down. I think I just walk up here. Yeah, I just walk back down here. Okay. Oh, I see. This is a bridge. Okay. You're doing good. Okay, your grandpa's old house. You got your grandpa's old house right now? Awesome, Tim. I hope you have a nice uh, time just there. So you know, I've got some oh, new good day to you, K-Wing. Um, uh, you're a businessman, right, ah. Scrooge? I, specifically, I consider myself an adventure capitalist. I made much of my fortune searching for treasure and invest in it. Do you have some question about money? I'd be happy to an Oh, do you have some question about money? I'd be happy to answer it. Uh, how did you get so rich? Ah, by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. I'm not like some fools born to riches. I was born to a poor family in Scotland and earned every dime that I got. Not like some who got where they are by cheating and taking advantage of folks. And the more money they have, the more they cheat. Um, why aren't you like that? Mm. Hi, well, I've done some things I'm not proud of, but I'd like to think I've learned my lessons. I suppose it's family and the good folks I've worked with. I don't want to do anything to change how they see me. That's... Bye -bye. He cares about how people see him. That's very sweet. Especially his family. That was very heartwarming. Okay, let's see. Uh, now I lost track of Merlin because I accidentally talked to Scrooge. Oh, there he is. He's all the way over there already. So... 77 degrees where you are? Oh, wow, fantastic. This game gets updated like every several months. I don't know if it gets updated. I'll show you the things that do get updated every day though. Like this stuff gets updated every day. Like you have different things in the item shop. That's very cute. Purple cottage. And summer vacation scrooge okay so that's gonna refresh in four days so every week you have different things you could get you also have star pass that update like some of these are updates like earth Soul's transformation bundle is an update and this one is an update um but these you have to pay for like real money just like the just like the eternity isle that i'm on right now you had to pay 
$30 uh, more. That's like an expansion pass DLC. So they get it gets updated with pay for with real money skins and special characters. It also gets updated with um, like DLC that you have to pay for. So um, sometimes there might there was an update for Easter. So uh, it's just like Animal Crossing. There are some free updates. So the Easter update was free, um, and you get to make like things out of eggs and stuff like that. So that was free. Um, so sometimes event, special events are free updates. All right, the villagers. Uh, let's talk to Merlin. Let's see. Oh, ah, K Wing. Ha! Ah, see you managed to mend in the rift. Time around the palace. Hmm. I suppose that means Jafar's free. Uh, well, he's locked in his palace. Mm -hmm. Locked in the. Ah, what do you mean, K Wing? Ah, uh, Jafar tried to take the hourglass from me, but Rapunzel, Gaston, and Eve didn't like that. Eve almost gave Jafar a taste of her last cannon, of her blast cannon. Jafar! Ah, Jafar vanished. I can only guess he's hiding in the palace. It's kind of his fortress, but before that... The annual events are repeats. Okay, thank you, um, the eyes. Uh, ah, oh, it's kind of in his fortress, but before that... He said he's after something called the spark of imagination. The spark of imagin- The spark of imagination? Why have I never heard of... Uh, Jafar said that he was somewhere... It was somewhere beneath the island, and that only someone with the hourglass can find it. Oh, and he said it would give him the power to control all space and time. What in Control thunder? all space and time? Then we have no cho chance but to stop him. Whatever the spark of imagination is, we must find it before Jafar does. Where do we start, Merlin? Where are so many good adventures start with a trip to the library? I must do some research. This may take quite a while. Keep uncovering the secrets of Eternity Isle, and do whatever you can to make it feel like home. Now then, I wonder if the spark of imagination might be connected to the uh, magic of the realms. You ought to try venturing into one of the realms using your hourglass to search there. Pretty good, eh? Why, there's no telling what you may find or what you could create from. Your well, eternal award you is complete. Oh, Village Project Gear Loose, get Gear Loose and Fancy Free has started. I have no idea what that is. Scrooge McDuck has some more tips for you on the economy of eternity in the aisle. All right, so we have some kind of event going on right now. It says, but I don't understand why it says I have. I haven't done any of these tasks. Uh, let's see, we have 20. Oh, wow, this is ending in four days. Four days, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know if I would get that outfit. It's, this would be cute if I was, if my character was a girl character, it would be cute. I have enough for this Medusa hair. I have enough for this cute piano. I think that's Lady and the Tramp, which is very cute. Four likes till 40. Yep, thank you guys for the likes. It really helps out tremendously. Thank you so much for your help. Alright, well, why don't we... Last time we were talking to Simba on the other area... Um, so why don't we actually fast travel to the regular valley and... I believe there's a plant that we have to water for part of Simba's quest, so I guess we'll keep watering that. Thank you, PJ, for liking and sharing. Thank you, everyone, for liking and sharing. Appreciate your help so much. Thank you, guys and gals. Uh, I just don't... I guess I just don't... Um, hi, hi uh, there's Scar. There's so much to do. Like, there's so many hours of endless things I could do in this game. Like, 
I could rearrange all of these plants. Um, I could build a lot of more roads. I could build like decorations and add them everywhere. For me, for some people, it's like, oh, okay, they're done with the story and they're done. For me, I'm always seeing things like, oh, I could do this and this. But of course, it's not really part of the story, but I feel like, oh, it'd be great to do. All right, so um, we're gonna try to water this plant that um, that I had to grow for Simba. I guess. It <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. Here we go. Oh, Simba's quest. All right, looks like it grew. Alright, so we're going to do something interesting today. Hi Jacob Langlet, hi PJ, hi May 12, hi Empty Space, hi Timmy, hi The Eyes, hi everyone. Alright, oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, look at this tree. This, I, I put, I... So this is where we planted the tree. We planted it here. Well, so I guess we'll see what this... Just stay away from the tree, Scar. Oh, I wouldn't dream of trying anything, Simba. But only because I know it would make K-Wing terribly cross with me. Alright, let's go talk to Simba. K-Wing, I wanted to thank you for all your support. Mm -hmm. You helped me find the clues about my past... And now we have the Dreamlight tree back. I can't wait for the sunbirds to notice it. And I Ugh. really think we're on the right track to figuring out what's going on with the valley. As soon as the tree grew, hmm. well, you could say I felt a change in the winds. I'll keep an eye on it to make sure everything goes well. And I'll tell you if anything happens. Ah. See you around, K-Wing. Pretty cool. See huh? the memories. It's Fabulous, says Timmy. So we got two so quests completed you're in today. Charge. Shall I practice my curtsy? Fab, says United Thrive. It's beautiful, says PJ. So let's see what's happening over here. Okay, so we collected some fruit from it. And the fruit is dreamlight fruit. So... I guess we'll... We'll be able to cook with dreamlight fruit now. All right, let's see what Eve has to say. Oh, plants. What's happening, Eve? Directive, plants. Yes, I remember you helped Wally with the plants in the secret garden. Why are you so worried? Friend, uh, beep, beep, beep. Did something happen to the plants? Eve, did you do something to the plants? Um, plants, earth, don't panic. I'll help you with whatever is happening. Let's go. Okay, la laser and crafts. Okay, all right, so what is it? Okay, lasers and crafts. Go to the secret garden with Eve. All right, we're going to have to go oh, lasers and crafts. What do I think Dreamlight would taste like? Uh, um, that would be an interesting poll idea. Um, that's a good, that's a good idea. What do you... Um, what is you? What do you guys think uh, Dreamlight would taste like? I think it would taste like uh, honey and like I don't know. My first instinct is like honey and raspberry combined because I love those flavors. So, but it might taste like chocolate or vanilla, or it could taste like apple pie. I don't know. Um, what do you guys think Dreamlight would taste like? I think it would be like what maybe a Dreamlight. I'll taste like whatever the person who's eating it. Maybe it's their favorite food. 
Hi, um, Beast. Ah. Hello. Ah, the sun here can be another, uh, rather hot for me, you know, K-Wing? Uh, Penny for your thoughts. Ah, I've been thinking about the night thorns. How they transform light and beauty into darkness and menace. Good, uh... I don't know, they look kind of cool. It's a shame. It's a shame to remove them sometimes. Their structure is very interesting. Do you suppose the night thorns used to be something else? Something gentler and kinder? Uh... Empathizing with the night thorns, you have a big heart. What an interesting thought, beast. Ah, uh, but if you like spiky plants, you should talk to Mirabel. Her sister Isabel is a fan too. I hope we speak again. Well, I guess we can. I don't know who we should talk to. We'll go to the secret garden with Eve, and then I will actually. Sorry, Scrooge McDuck. We're we're gonna go ladies first. We're gonna go uh, check out the thing with Eve. It would taste magical, says James. All right, let me let me let me see a poll. What do you think Dreamlight would taste like? trying to think of something really delicious. Uh, let's see. I'll put pears or peaches. Those are, if you guys have another thing you guys think Dreamlight would taste like, let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably should have just put regular berries oh, on there. I should. I wonder, I should have put like a cheese danish on there. That would be kind of yummy if Dreamlight tasted like that. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I don't know if I made a very good poll, but we'll, we'll do the best we can. All right, so we're gonna go meet Eve in her garden. I believe it's down here. Oh no, it's burning, it's burning up. Oh no. Ha! Ah. Uh, lasers and crafts. Ah! Let's extinguish those fires, Eve. Okay, talk to Eve. Plants! How did this happen? Did you use your laser cannon on the plants? Beep, beep, beep. Why? Directive plants. That's not how you warm plants up. That's not how you warm plants up. Ah, <sighs> I'm sure we can fix it. Phew. I think we can make the plants even nicer. Oh? And I know to how to ask for help. Go fetch some new plants and I'll go see Mirabel. Alright. Well, I don't know if we can actually... Well, we might be able to finish it. Okay, let's see if we can find Mirabel. Oh, she's right over here. So we can easily go over there. You like peaches and pears? Awesome, Tim Muller. Very cool. Yeah, um, yeah, I think I remember that you, uh, remembered that you like pears. Pears are really good. I like them. Well, Luke's favorite fruit, he loves peaches. Hey, That's okay, his favorite. And help? also kiwi. Luke loves kiwi. Hola, Kiwing. I've been having so much fun exploring Eternity Isle. Anything you need my help with? Uh, you've met Eve, right? 
I have. She's so cute with Wally. Well, you accidentally incinerated their plants. Whoa, mm. that is not good. All right, and I'm just going to move the other stream a little bit later. Sorry about that, everyone. All right. Um, whoa, that is not good. Um, so while she replaces the plants, I wanted to add something to their secret garden. Something super cute, like even Wally. Well, you're in luck because before the forgetting, you had a project like that. You wanted to create a stone canvas where Eve could use her laser to create art. You, you asked for help and you asked for help and I've kept all the plans we made together. Do you remember the materials? Mm. Let me think. We were going to use quartz and then something you called plastic. Um, oh, and ancient gemstones, too. You had to search for them here using your hourglass when you asked Eve to melt them. Mm. I remember they were supposed to be around the ancient landing. Okay, I think I'll need to talk with Eve, but first, thanks a lot, Mirabelle. Anytime, K-Wing. Adios. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to finish this one today, but you know what? We might as well think positive. Maybe we can finish it. Um, I'm running a little late, but that's all right. Oh, wow. Eve is all the way. She's randomly over here. Okay. Uh, oh, this is that weird place. This is the underground area. Okay. Now I see what that is. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that's Eve. Sorry, Scrooge. I really do want to do your quest. Lord is Directive. You want to believe... You don't... You won't believe it, but there's a project before the forgetting that would be perfect for the secret garden. A stone canvas that you can use your laser on to make something beautiful for you and Wally. Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm going to need your help but to melt the ancient gemstones. Yeah. Directive! I'll go look for the ancient gemstones now. Use your hourglass to find the ancient gemstones. So, we'll have to do that. Yeah. Well, we can do it a little bit. We can try it. We have to go to the ancient landing. Let's see where we are. Oh, anywhere in this area then. Anywhere in this green area. Alright, I'm going to go see if I actually have the ancient gemstones already. I don't know if I do. Oh, look at, um, oh, some cool, like, it looks like kind of like Easter type stuff, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm more the wrong. Hey, I've got a job for you. A especially apple pears known as Asian pears. Yum, Alex. Yeah, maybe Dreamlight would be a combination, like apple pears or something. Awesome, Alex. Very cool, Alex the Ronin. Okay, alright, I'm gonna see if we have any of these gemstones. I don't know what she wants. Ancient gemstones around the ancient landing. Doesn't look like it would have like a little star in, if it was in our. Like, they put like a little star on it in your inventory if it's something that you need for a quest. So it looks like. Never forget your imagination. Well, I don't know if we will actually finish this because I have to get to the next stream soon. So, and I'm so sorry for the short streams. I've just been extremely busy lately so sorry about that oh we found one of them 
We found one ancient gemstone, so that's what we have to do. That's basically what we have to do, is just keep looking for that. Well, maybe we can... Maybe we can find it. So they're going to make us work for this. All right, we found both of them. It's a miracle. All righty then. Okay, so Eve is back here, so we'll go we'll go back. All right, so we actually found the two gemstones. So basically just by wandering around, randomly using your, uh, you know, hourglass, you can do it. Okay, here we go, Eve. I have the, I have the ancient gemstones. We need a place to melt that somewhere. Safe away, everyone. Directive, you seem to already know where to go. I'm right behind you. Alright, so I guess we will follow Eve and then... I don't know if this will be the end of the quest. It will be... Follow Eve to see a mysterious location. Far away from everyone else. Eve! Directive! Okay, now for the melting part. Ah! Fire! Oh! So much fire, it's... Uh, awesome! Huh? Huh? You did exactly what I asked. Thank you, Eve. I'll take care of everything. I better use my shovel. I don't want to solidify the solidify the gemstones again. All right, so we're going to use our shovel to get rid of the Use your royal tools to remove the fire. Alright, I think I should use my watering can. Alright, now we all we have to do is talk to Eve. We have to go find her. She left really fast. Eve, where did you go? Oh, she's over there. Okay. And it looks like we've got the Iron Giant in the background, which looks cool. I, it looks like him. I don't know if that is Iron Giant. I forgot if Iron Giant is a Disney movie or not. Okay. Alright, Eve, where are you? Where are you? Um, Eve? Okay. There she is. Alright, Eve. Hmm. Directive. Now it's time to craft the stone canvas. Whoa! S craft the stone canvas. Okay. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll have to do that next time because we do have to. Uh, we do have to get going for the next stream. So sorry about that, guys. That it was a little bit uh, of a, a short stream and uh, that I'm uh, kind of holding up everything, but. Um, I hope you guys had fun, and we almost got the end of the, um, we almost got the end of this quest, but we did get to finish two other quests, so that was good. Alright guys, I'm gonna go, uh, uh, start, uh, in about 10-15 minutes, we'll be starting the next stream, which is gonna be, um, Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, um, part, uh, let's see, 59. All right, guys and gals, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in about 10 minutes. God bless. Happy gaming. See ya.